Hi guys. I know I've been a little MIA lately. Um, just been really, really busy working a lot more that my husband's out of work, but it's all good. He's got a new job offer, so hopefully things will go back to normal or semi normal. And I've been rounding up a little bit of produce. So I thought I'd give you a little update on my polyculture in the front yard. The watermelons didn't produce any, well, I didn't get out of the shot, didn't produce anything. The green beans on the other hand are doing well and producing a lot. The garlic and the radishes and the kale here are coming up. My cabbage went to pot. Squirrel's got it, bug's got it, something. I'm letting this broccoli, I've gotten a lot of heads off of it, I'm letting it go to seed so I can collect some seeds from it. And then we have broad beans here that haven't produced any broad beans yet. But I am so happy. I have finally, after years and years of trying, been able, and I don't know if you can see it or not, Grow a beet or beets. There are several that came up and actually making beets. And over here, of course, we have no sturms and the water of melon trailing all over the place that doesn't really do anything. Swiss chard, still getting some off of it. Great big giant leaves that are now getting bugs. And my peas are doing well. I just picked about a bowl full off of them. Um, probably in the next few days we'll have more. You may not be able to see very well in this video. And my Jerusalem artichokes, sunchokes, whatever you want to call them, we just topped the tops of them off because they were starting to get ugly and die back. And I plan to dig up some of that to see what's all in there. And here's my lone little zucchini plant that I did a late um, planting of, I doubt very, it's got several blooms on it, I doubt very seriously I'll get zucchini off of it, but I had a bad problem with, um, squash vine borers. The raspberries are dying back, so it's about time to cut them. Swiss chard over here is doing well, and the peppers are still producing peppers. That's when I get my most pepper production is uh, early fall, late summer. My cherry tomatoes are playing out. We just haven't been picking them as much. There's, I'm the only one that eats them. Marigolds, I do not know. I think this is one of the ones that I planted from seed. And I can't remember if it was from a packet or seeds that I had saved. But, I mean, you see this thing and you look over here and see these. These were bought at the store. So, I will be planting from seeds from now on. And these little Mexican sour gherkin things. I got a couple. I don't know if you can see that. A couple started. But I think I planted them too, just too late to actually get anything off of them. And the Scarlet Runner beans are doing very well. I'm letting, I'm just letting it all dry on the plant to collect the seeds so that I have plenty of seeds to actually grow as a food crop next year. And here's a shot from this direction. We're all decked out for fall. Yay. And this squash has been fighting squash vine borers and mold and everything else. But finally got one of those off of it or on it. So that's it for the front yard, guys. I've replaced those. Oh, I got some broccoli. I don't know if this cabbage is going to do anything, but. We've got Swiss chard. This keeps falling off of that. Um, that broccoli is going to seed. 
But this is just now forming a little broccoli head. And it's a big, beautiful plant, so see what we get off of it. But that's it for my front yard update, guys. I hope everybody's having a wonderful fall and that you're still able to get some production out of your garden. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.